today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on my new NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I ordered these off, I think it's called Kiss and Makeup New York. So they're from America. They took probably, I think, over a month to get here. So that's kind of annoying. They were really cheap though, so they like matched American prices and there was no currency conversion or whatever. So that was really good. Um, I don't think there was any postage at uh, Oh, I think there was actually $9.95 postage, which isn't too bad considering how far it's actually come. So I'm just, I've already primed my skin. I've got my Astralis primer on and I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to apply these using a beauty blender and then I'll come back later when my makeup is finished and let you know my full thoughts on that. So this is what it looks like and I know this is like a super duper popular foundation so everyone's going to know what it looks like. So I got the Sheer Glow Foundation in the colour Light Siberia. I'm pretty sure this is one of the lightest colours you can get. Which is good because I know that in most collections I'm one of the lightest colours. So hopefully this matches. It looks okay. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going to apply this using my Beauty Blender. And throughout that I'll just give you my thoughts on it. So straight away you can tell that there isn't a pump which is kind of annoying. So, But I know you can buy them quite cheap so it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm just putting it on the back of my hand and then I think I'm just going to use my finger to dot it around my skin. The colour actually looks really similar to my L'Oreal True Match but I find my L'Oreal True Match changes colour throughout the day and like after a while doesn't match me very well. So it's only a really light layer and I want quite full coverage so I'm just going to keep dotting away. I'm just going to start off with that amount. I've still got a fair bit on the back of my hand, but we'll see how we go. It's a perfect palette match though. Like, my face is quite dark compared to the rest of my body, but that's like a perfect colour. Thank God, considering how long it took, it took to get here, I was like, imagine if it's the wrong colour. <laughs> It's a really, really full coverage, or well, not overly full coverage, it's a really good coverage. Um, it's not heavy at all, like I literally feel like there is nothing on my face right now. Blends so easy, like I probably could have used a little bit less than what I originally had. And it's super buildable, I put like a little bit extra on my cheeks just to see how well it built it up. And it was really, really good. So, and it's a really good colour, like my body is quite yellow, like I find my neck is always a little bit more yellow than my actual face and it actually blended out awesome it's kind of like sinking into my skin a little bit though so next I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I got this in the colour Light Chantilly and it's quite similar colour to the foundation itself so I don't know how brightening it's going to be but when I'm fake tanned I'm sure this will be awesome so it's got like the same sort of matte black pa um, yeah, packaging <laughs> don't know what I was going to say there um, I actually really like the packaging of these, like they're really good quality and like they're sturdy, like they're not anything crazy but they're glass and they're matte black and it's just really classy and nice to look at. So when you open it, it's just got like your normal like kind of lip gloss applicator and I'm just going to put this, yeah, so it's not going to be overly highlighting for my pale skin but when I'm fake tan I'm sure this will be a perfect colour. I'm just going to put this like under my eyes. And then like around the center of my face and whatnot. It's the normal places I would highlight. And that's not going to be very highlighting. First impression is you don't get much on the actual stick when you bring it out. Like, I don't know what the go is there. I don't know how much of this to apply, but it's actually really annoying how much comes out at one time. I'm just going to put that much on. It doesn't really feel like much, but we'll soon find out. Overall, I really like it. Like, it feels quite similar to the NARS, uh, 
the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, like the consistency and like the coverage. I think this one's a little bit better, like in coverage wise, and just like it looks a lot more natural than I thought. Then again, with the fake tan, it could look a bit more intense, which is kind of the look I like. Um, it's not as light as I would have liked for my pale skin. I find my um, Urban Decay one is like the good colour for when I'm pale. But I really like it. Like it's settled in really well. It hasn't like gone too crazy. It's a little bit sticky right now but it still hasn't had time to set in. So now I'm just going to go in with my powders and I'll come back with how it looks with my powders and everything. my powders and everything set in I'm feeling quite matte which I don't know because it's a sheer glow so it's not really giving me an overall glow I feel quite matte I don't know like my skin is pretty dry at the moment so that could be it but I don't know I really like the coverage like that's the kind of coverage I go for um the colors really well I really like the concealer probably better when I'm fake tan as I've already said like a hundred times <laughs> I feel like I've just repeated myself um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and like finish the rest of my makeup and I'll come back when it's all done to see how it's fully settled in. So yeah. So I'm back and I've fully finished my makeup. Overall, it hasn't changed a hell of a lot, which is a really good thing. Um, it's sitting really nicely on my skin. It's definitely clinging to my dry patches, but that's my own problem. I have dry skin. But um, I think once my skin gets a little bit more hydrated, it will look really, really good. Um... Yeah, it looks really nice. The bronzer and everything really sunk well into it and it like blended really well. Um, overall, I'm really impressed. Like I had nothing bad to say about it at all. So that's a plus. So yes, this makeup look will be up sometime soon. So yes, I hope you enjoy. And also for anyone wondering... <laughs> Also, for anyone wondering, um, I have Essie Fiji on my nails. It's a really pretty pale pink colour. Love it. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.